So they usually structure it so, so you're not coming the day before. They, the municipality wants that land for free, and they may not do anything with that land for 20 years or forever. They may never touch that land, but they, they're entitled to take it if they designate it in the official plan or master, the transportation master plan. And they'll take anything they can for future use if they ever want it. So if they want to put a, a widen the road, and then they and uh, it goes across the front of your property, and you don't have any plan applications where they can get it for free, they have to expropriate that land from you, pay you market value for whatever that piece of land is, and, and your inconvenience. And if, if you ever get expropriated, the rule of thumb is if you refuse the first offer, they can bump it by between five and ten percent above what they've offered you. So uh, and they and it's not a, a matter of going to court and arguing it. It's you refuse what they said and you say, um, um, you know, I would like to talk about more. And then they usually come back because they give you five or 10% more in payment is less than taking you to court and, and arguing it. Uh, if you go to court, you're going to lose uh, because they, they take possession of the property and then you argue about it later. Okay. And so, so they're going to take it, but it's, you, you talk about compensation. The nice thing is when you take them to court, if they take, if you take them to court on appeal, they have to pay for your lawyer. Okay, so you get free legal advice that way, but they're going to take that land. You can't stop them from taking it. 